Yesterday, I posted a video explaining why Dave Ramsey's claim that retirees can safely spend 8% of their portfolios did not make sense. But I realized after posting that his claim was even worse than I initially thought. Dave explains that the S&P 500 has historically returned around 12%, which after 4% inflation leaves 8% for spending. But the S&P 500 has only returned around 12% historically if you look at its arithmetic average returns. Investors don't earn the arithmetic average return of an investment though. They earn the geometric average return, returns compound over time. Geometric returns are approximately equal to the arithmetic average minus one half the variance. So more volatile assets will tend to have a bigger gap between arithmetic and geometric returns, and any risky asset will have some amount of a gap. While it's still not the right way to calculate safe spending, using Dave's math with the more appropriate geometric returns for the S&P 500, which are around 10% historically as opposed to 12%, makes the claim of an 8% withdrawal rate that much worse.